Okay, today's daf is daf chavav, uh, and we're holding about uh, four, five lines from the bottom of chavhem at base. Uh, and we just had the end of the halacha. Rav Yaakov brought the bashmul halacha kishim and Lazar, and Rav says ain't halacha kishim and Lazar. Again, and we're in the discussion here about where one should put his tefillin. Uh, and the Gemara continues. Rav Achai, Rav Achai is asik le the brei be Rav Yitzchak bashmul. He arranged for his son to marry uh, the daughter of Yitzchak bashmul. Okay, by Marta and I, uh, the son of Shmuel, from Marta, Ayla the Chupa, she went to the Chupa, Vlayav Misaid to Milsa, and he wasn't able to consummate the marriage. So he went in to check what was going on, Ravachai, and Azal Basreli and Yunye to, to, to delve into the matter. And Chaza said for Torah to he saw that there was a Torah that was, uh, that was uh, a place there. Okay, that was uh, that was in the room, and Amar Lehui told Rav Yisroel Bar Shmuel Bar Marta, "Iku hash behold now leasis akanta lebri. You almost put my son uh, in a sakana. You endangered his life." The Tanya by sheish by sefer Torah. It's filling a house that a room that is a sefer Torah. It's filling us l'shamish by samitri. You now have relations there. Actually, see where you take him out. Oh, you shenichem kli to kli, or you put him uh, one kli inside of another. It's in two coverings. Okay, and I'm Rabbi. Rabbi says Lashana El Beklisha in Kilyon. That's talking about within a cover or a box or a bag that's not its own kli. It's not designated for to holding tefillin. I'm a Beklisha who Kilyon. I feel Asar Mani Kichad Mana Dami. If you put it in a tefillin bag and put it in another tefillin bag and another tefillin bag, even up to ten, uh, even more than that, it's considered like it's only in one kli. Okay, but what he was telling him is that uh, uh, essentially you you put my son in Sakana. Rashi says because of the sin and he almost had relations uh, in a room where a Torah and tefillin were. Okay, so uh, so that was the the story. The Gemara continues. Amarava glima akamtara. Okay, glima akamtara. This is the the uh, the the holder of the of the tefillin. It's kliba kli. I'm sorry, glima akamtara is kliba kli dummy. Uh, and th- this is uh, this this uh, this like this cloak, a cloak over a chest is considered like a uh, a kli inside of a kli. Okay, and therefore it's only considered one, and it's not going to be uh, enough to uh, to uh, to hold it back. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's it's th- this cloak is not normally used for the the tefillin, and therefore it's considered like a kli b'tay kli, and it's uh, it's mutter to have relations in that room. It's considered a good covering. I'm a Rishu, when Levi Rishu was Levi says safer Torah tzarich la'asayis la'mechitza asara. If you want to have relations in the same room, same house as a uh, as a safer Torah, you have to make sure that there's a partition at least of ten tefachim that creates another space, uh, and then you're it's permitted. Marzutra ikla lebei ravashi. Marzutra went to the house of ravashi and chazi leduchte demar bar ravashi demar. Okay. He saw that there was a Sefer Torah there in the room, and then he had put up a partition of ten tefachim. Amar he told him, "Come on, who are you holding like Rishum Levi? Who said that a ten tefachim is enough?" Amar Dama Rishum Levi Delesle Beis Achrina. The only time Rishum Levi said his din is when one doesn't have another room. Okay, but Mar Ha Isle Beit Achrina, you have other rooms, other houses. So therefore, you you, you can't rely on this kula. Amar he told him, "Lava Zaytoi, I did not uh, lesamti le Rashi's lesati lebi. I didn't pay attention to that. I I uh, I, I hadn't." Uh, uh, paid attention to that to that fact, and then you're right, and he conceded. Okay, so the Gemara said we said in the Mishnah, "Kam yachik behem min atzaya arba amos." You have to distance yourself for amos. Amar Rava, Amar Rav Shchor, Amar Rav Huna, loy shanu. This is not taught el lachorav if it's behind you. Okay, have the fun of it's in front of you. Marchik malayenav. One actually has to uh, be as as far away as uh, as that they can't not see it anymore. Okay, v'chein el tefila not only for shema but also regarding tefila. Says the Gemara, "Any is that so?" V'har Amar Rav Raf from Bar Papa, Amar Rav Chizda, Raf from Bar Papa, saying the name of Chizda. I made Adam kneid beis hakise umispal. One can. Davin opposite a a shirutim a bathroom, so you see that it's not a problem if it's if it's even if it's not malay marchik malay enav. So the says hachma askin. What's that talking about? Besakisa shein baitzaya. That's talking about we said before besakisa arai, which is only used for urinating, but it's not used uh, uh, in regard to uh, for releasing one's bowels. Okay, it says the gemara eni is that so v'amr rav yosef bar chanina besakisa shamru the bathroom that was referring to that rav chizad said was. <coughs> Rav Chizda said, "Was uh, was was uh, even if it do, if it doesn't uh, have so in it." That we said is aser is afal pishayim by adam. Okay, so this statement that we said that it's ushered in front of a, a, a bathroom to daven, that's even if there's no tzaya there. And in the bathhouse we said it's ushered, it's even if there's no people that are undressed there. So you see it's a problem, just intrinsically a problem. The Mar says, Allah, what's it talking about? Bechadati, uh, a new bathroom. 
So it's in fact a bathroom that, that hadn't been used at all, it's just been inaugurated as a bathroom. Okay? It says the Gemara of Hamibayle Ravina, they asked Ravina, Hasmino Lebesa Kise Mahu, when one designates a room to be a bathroom, does it take on the characteristics of a bathroom halachically or not? So the Gemara says, Yesh Zimun or Ain Zimun? Is there designation by the bathroom or not? So, Gemara, so you see that was a question. So the Gemara says, Kikamibayle Ravina, that's Lameka Malay Litzlui Begave. The whole discussion about whether the, the uh, uh, Zimun, Creates a reality of bathroom, halachic bathroom, that would be usher to daven. That's to daven inside of it. Okay, where it was a new dav, a new bathroom that was inaugurated as a bathroom, but hadn't been yet used as a bathroom. Have a connect dive, one's just opposite it, and outside of it, loy, everyone would agree that they wouldn't have asked the question. Uh, certainly, you can daven opposite it if it had just had hazmana. Amarava, hani parsai. These Persian bathrooms, even though there are uh, excrement, human excrement there, still kastumadam is as if it's covered up uh, because uh, the nature of them is they had some elaborate kind of um, uh, of uh, of um, uh, plumbing that uh, was actually was they had uh, ditches dug on a, on a slant under the ground so it would roll they, they would actually move from from being uh, right under where one was so then the mission continues we had this quote brought earlier Zav Shira Keri uh, someone has a Tumas Zav okay who saw Keri which is obviously uh, a lesser uh, a form a seminal mission Venida or one who has the chum, the Chumrah of Venida okay Shepolta Sheikh Vazera who had had relations and had uh, had dripped out Sheikh Vazera which is a din of about Keri Mishameshes and one who had relations to Rasa Nida, who actually saw the Nida, saw the Chamer de Nida Tuma after. Sriha Tvila, all these people need Tvila uh, in order to 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 to, uh, to daven. I mean, in order to say to Torah. Okay, and the Rehuda Poter, Rehuda's Poter. Okay, so uh, uh, we'll, we, we'll we'll see that we'll see in a minute. The Gemara is going to jump on Rehuda and what what his what he's being Poter about, what he's exempting one from. So the Gemara says, "Ibaylehu." Last your question. Bal Keri Shira Ziva, a Bal Keri. Okay, someone who just had a regular seminal mission, who became a, a ziva, who now has seven days of toma. Let Rehuda Mahu. What, what's Rehuda going to say the halacha should be in that particular case? Now, key patra of Yehuda Hasam, maybe perhaps Rehuda says patra over there in these cases, bizav shira keri. In a case of zav shira keri, why do me kara la bar tvilahi? Who? Meaning, now, when when I uh, when I was zav and walking around as a zav, there's a special elaborate process of seven days, uh, and I become a toma zav. I'm a, a chomer dika din of Tomazov. So therefore when I saw Kerry <coughs> and the mikvah's not really gonna help me because even before I saw Kerry, I was Lab Bar Tvilahu. I was not one who Tvil would help. Ava Balkari, a Balkari Shira Ziva, who now saw Ziva after. To me, Kara, originally, Bar Tvilahu, the Tvila would have helped him. So therefore, Mikhaev, Rabbi Huda would agree that you should be Chayev Tvila. Adilma Laishna. So it says, Tashma, come in here. From the end of the mission, it said, Amisha Meshes, Rasa Nida, one who had relations, uh, and then it became a Nida after. Shricha Tvila, Rabbi Huda Patr, who's your Patr? Amisha Meshes, Rasa Nida, a woman who had relations and became a Nida after. That's similar to Balkari Shira Ziva, Damya. Why? Because when Misha Meshes, when she just had relations, and now she has this tome of like carry on her the 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 uh, tefila would have helped and still she became a need after and still Rehuda says your putter okay so therefore that's like a balkari shiraziva the kapatra Rehuda shma mina so we hear that Rehuda would potter in that case as well and the gemara completes itself and says tanya rubchia bahadei I had a quote straight out an explicit that said balkari shiraziva tzarech tefila Rehuda putter Rehuda uh, says you're exempt hadjar alach mishemesu okay and now we move on into the fourth parak. And the Gemara continues, the Mishnah continues. Tefillah Sashachar Ad Chatos. Now we're up to Shachris, uh, and the Tefillah of Shachris, one can daven until midday. Rabbi Huda Omer Ad Dal Chos, until four hours. Now we, we had explained this before, that the day is, is divided into 12 parts, 12 hours, halakim, okay, which are not, which are not astronomical, uh, they're not, uh, they're not astronomical hours, they're just, uh, they're, they're divided into parts, the day is divided into 12 parts, and the question, obviously the big question in the post is whether the, those 12 parts are, the, that the day divided, do they st- does it start from uh, daybreak, Amun HaShachar, and end at Tzitz HaKochavim, full night time, or does it actually start from uh, Neitz HaChama, which is a later time when the sun rises, when you can see the sun, to Shkia HaChama. Okay, that's so the question of how the day is divided. But he says until four hours into the day, one can dive in chakras. And feels how mincha, mincha is an Arab until the evening. Okay, Rabbi Huda Omer Plaga Mincha. Well, until half of Mincha, the Gemara is going to elaborate what this means. Tefilas Erev, the night prayer of Meirev ain't like Eva. It has no set time. The Shal Musafim and the Tefilah Musaf is Kol is the whole day. And uh, some take this out, some keep it. Rabbi Huda Omer Ad Zayin Shos until seven hours into the day. And one has Musaf. Okay, now the Gemara goes and it says for a minute 
I'll answer your question from a rice. It says, Mitzvah, so the mitzvah of Shachris in the morning, the mitzvah of, of, of Shema in the morning is a Manetzachama. One should be careful to do it with the rising of the sun, right just then. He can have the Geula prayers next to Tefillah, like we said, like uh, like the loved one who knocks on the door and is, is Matthias the king that asks for his needs. Venimsa, and then the, the moment the day breaks, the, the, the sun rises, I'm sorry, the Mispal Biyom, he finds himself diving during the day. So you see, you don't have it till four hours into the day. So the Mara says, Kitanya he, that Bryce is talking about, Livatikin, those especially humble people who are incredibly uh, committed and passionate about doing mitzvahs. Amar of Yochan, of Atikin, these Vatikin people, how you're going to raise them they would finish Shema of Nesachama, but the Kulemer Ad Chatzos, the one that really has until Chatzos. Says the Gemara, so Vesulo, you only have until Chatzos to say Shachris? What do you mean? Mari, the son of Huna, the son of Yirmiya Rabba, said the name of Yochanan, Ta, if one made a mistake. Now we have a concept of Tashlumen. Tashlumen dictates that there's a responsibility, there's a Chiv to say Shema uh, and to Davin, okay? And when one misses Davening, they have a concept of Davening, uh, we'll see in a moment, missing uh, necessarily means by accident, right? Where it wasn't uh, done for. Uh, uh, on purpose, missing on purpose. But if one misses up by accident, something came up, he was onus, he has to make up that tefillah with the next tefillah. And he does two. So if one misses shachras, they would daven two minchas. Okay? And the, and the klal is, is that the first mincha he davens is the mincha for now. And the second one is called tashlumin, which means a makeup. Okay? Which means like a repayment. So we have a question from here. And the Gemara says, uh, uh, Ta, if one, first wide line on the Amid, Ta, if one makes a mistake, Valay Espal Arvis. He didn't daven Mayrev, Mispal B'Shachris time. He davens two Shmon Esrays of Shachris the next morning. Shachris, if you didn't daven, Shachris Mispal Mincha B'Shachris He davens Mincha twice. Kula Yoimi, Matzliv Azal. So what do you see? I'm sorry. So the question is, is that if you can daven two, right? If he can daven, uh, uh, um, if if he made a mistake and he didn't daven shachris, he could admire. If he could daven two shachrises, if he didn't daven shachris, he could two two, two minchas. You see that uh, that one could uh, could ma- in fact make up uh, the tefillah. So by definition, if one could make up the tefillah, then uh, then it must be says the Gemara. It must be that uh, that uh, that, uh, that 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 does that this shows that the tefillahs are not corresponding to karbanas, right? And therefore, it should be done any time during the day, as we'll see. Uh, the the, uh, the commentaries explain that the question really is is that. Is that if 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 the problem if, if we're going to have a discussion on the second side of the page in just a moment? What is the makar? What is the source of why one davens uh, tefillah three times a day? Is it is it respond, corresponding the three carbonists that we brought the three carbon to meet them that were brought every day, um, or was it is it corresponding the the uh, the takan institutions that the the avos gave for us? Okay, the the Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov. So it seems from here that the fact that you can make it up. Right? That's obviously not, uh, there's no din of making up a carbon if a carbon was, mo- was lost. So it must be that it's not uh, corresponding just, just, we'll see in, this, in a moment, not primarily or just the, uh, the, the carbonus is it corresponding, but also, or, or primarily, it's corresponding to the avos. And therefore, one can make it up. So if one can make it up, means they want you to be able to dive in the whole day. So the Gemara answers, Really, one could dive in the whole day, in fact, but one is given the, the reward of davening, davening in the right time. From there on, they give him the reward for davening, but he won't get the reward for davening in the right time. So the Gemara asks, I'll ask you a question. If one made a mistake, if he did not daven mincha. So now, could he daven Two myers that night. So now the Gemara explains. What's the question? In Tim Salaymar, if you're going to say Tavalei Spal Arvis Mispal Shachris Beis, if one da- didn't daven myer, if he can daven two Shachris the next morning, that's Mishum Dechad Yomahu. That's one halachic day, because we know the Jewish day starts at night. So if I didn't daven two myers that night, uh, I would necessarily be able to to daven uh, two Shachris the next morning. If I didn't daven myer that night, I could daven two Shachris the next morning, because it's one day. Havalhach over here to feel Spamakum Carbon He. If tefillahs are in fact being corresponded to the carbonus, we came into every year and bought the and the day passed, uh, and you forgot the, the carbon mincha. There's no way that you could bring the next day. It's a different tumid. It's a different day. Or Dilmar perhaps came into Tzlusa Rachmihi. Since prayer is just asking Hashem for mercy, any time a person wants to pray, he really could. So if you messed up, you, you, you would daven too. 
So the Gemara says, Tashma Adam Rav Huna Bar Yehuda, Amar Rav Yitzchak, Amar Rav Yochanan. Again, a quote from the name of Rav Yochanan. Ta v'loi hispal mincha. If one did not daven mincha, hispal Arab's base, he does daven Mairiv twice. If it ain't bizar, mishum or da'avar yoyim and botzal kabarin. There's no problem of uh, the day passed and you'd, you'd have uh, missed the carbon. Okay? The Gemara says, Mesfei, I'll ask you a question. It says, Mo'ovus layochal liskon. Mechisaron layochal lehemanos. Okay? This is a, a Pasuk in Kehelas. Mo'ovus layochal liskon, something that's crooked, that can't not be fixed. Mechisaron is something that's missing, layochal lehemanos, that can't be counted. So the Gemara, the Bryce Darshans this and says like this. Mo'ovus layochal liskon, something that's crooked, that can't be straightened. Zesh shabito krish mashal arvis, the krish mashal shachris, a tfilish al arvis, a tfilish shachris. If someone messed up and then daven, that's something you missed, you can never make up. You're never going to make up Meyer of, of today. Okay? This, today is gone and it's never going to happen again. Okay? So therefore you, you messed up. And and the chisar and uh, le and, and something that's missing that cannot be counted, that's specifically talking about shenimnu to chaver levar mitzvah. His friends included him to a certain mitzvah. Vlenimne imanim, he didn't include himself with them. He ended up doing the mitzvah with them. A certain opportunity he missed out on. Okay? So what do you see? You see if one da- misses da- and They can't make it up. So how come we're saying here this concept of tashlumen? So the Gemara says, Amar of Yitzchak, Amar of Yochanan, the bottom line of the Ahmed, Hachma Mayaskin, and what's it talking about? Should be del bemazed. When you, you really mess up, that you can never make it up. That's if one uh, annulled it on purpose. He says, I am not going to daven today. Amar Ravashi, Tekanami, I can give you a proof to Katani. It says, Vabatel, Bital, Veloy Katani Ta. Shmami, no, we hear from here that the Bryce, when it said that, uh, that Mizesh should be del Krish Mashal Arvis. Bital is, is one who goes out of his way uh, to, to not do something. Okay, so that's going to be different. So we're on the top of Chavav uh, on the base, and the Gemara continues. Tanar Abanan, we learned Tav Lehispal Mincha Be'er of Shabbos. One who messed up, again, this is by mistake, uh, and he didn't have a Mincha on Erev Shabbos, it was. Uh, it was late and running late, he didn't have a Mincha. Okay? Maush Yispal Be'er Shabbos time. Now, does he have two Mairvs? Okay? Now, what's the question? Ta, so the Gemara says, Velayispal Mincha Be'er Shabbos, Mispal Be'er Shabbos time. I'm sorry, it's a, a statement. He does, in fact, dive in two Mairvs of Shabbos, even though it's a completely different Tvila. Okay? Ta, Velayispal Mincha Be'er Shabbos. If one didn't dive in Mincha on Shabbos, Mispal Be'er Matzoy Shabbos time, even on Matzoy Shabbos, he could dive in two. And how does he do it? We know the concept of Atah Chaynan Tanu, that one says Havdala uh, uh, in the middle of the fourth bracha. So the question is, how does he do it? So the Gemara says, Shel Chol Mavdu Barishayna, since the first one, the first one of the uh, Shemar Esrays is going to be for now, like I explained. So therefore, he does the Havdala in that one, okay? Vein Mavdu Bashniya. He doesn't do the Havdala in the second one because the second one is Tashlumen for the Shabbos Mincha. So it's not appropriate to say Havdala again. So the Gemara says, Vein Mavdu Bashniya, if he messed up and he did the Havdala, in the second one, he didn't do the Havdal in the first one of the Bishmar Esther race. Shnia also led the Rishona. The second one's now going to count for now, but Shnia also led it counts for, as a tefillah of Meir, but Rishona led us and he's going to have to say another Shmar Esther to make up the Tashlumen. Okay, says the Gemara. Are you to say, Lememar? Are you going to tell me that the problem is he didn't say Havdala in the Shemur Esrei? Lememar, are you going to say he came to Le'avdu B'Kamaisa since he didn't do Havdala in the first uh, one of the Shemur Esrei at Meiriv? Command to Le'itzal them as if he didn't uh, daven at all. Madrinale, we make him go back. For a minute, I'll ask you a question. It says Tavla Hiskri Gavurs Kasham Mitzchias Amesim. If one forgot to mention the uh, powers of rain, right? The uh, uh, the what we say in uh, in this in the second bracha of uh, of Shemur Esrei, right? Where we, um, if, if one left that out in Tchias Hamesim, or Vesheila by Berachas Hashanim, where he left out uh, the, the uh, asking Hashem Vesheila um, in Berachas Hashanim, right? If we left that out, Machzirna, so we make him go back. But Havdal B'Chayin Hadas, B'Chayin Hadas. If you left out the Atochayin Atanu that we say in the Bracha of Chayin Hadas, then the Halach is a Machzirna. So we don't make him go back. Because he's going to go home and say Havdal and Akos, so it's not a big deal. So the Gemara says Kasha, that's a good question. Because, in fact, it, it shouldn't be uh, clear. So even though it says Kasha in the Gemara, it doesn't give an answer. The, usually the, the word Kasha uh, means that there are answers, just the Gemara didn't feel completely comfortable with them. Uh, in fact, uh, some of the Rishon and the Rif or Ben Yonah to mention, they, they uh, give different answers. One answer I think is noteworthy, uh, especially now, just to, uh, uh, seems to make sense to me, uh, is the fact that when one has two Myers now to say on Matzah Shabbos, so and he doesn't say Havdal in the first one, he says Havdal in the second one, what he's in fact saying is he's saying by definition, definition 
The fact that the reason why we make him go back is not because he didn't say Havdalah. If he didn't say Havdalah in both of them, then we wouldn't make him go back. It would count. But the fact that he said it in the second one is he's showing that I uh, am counting this second one as being my Shemona Esrei for Myrif, my real Shemona Esrei for Myrif. And my first one should be Tashlumen. And we know that it doesn't work. The Tashlumen always has to come after the, the Tefillah that's incumbent upon one now. So that's going to be the problem. So he's, he, 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 das, he's really revealing his, his mind by uh, by setting himself up that way, okay. So the says itmar. We learned now. This is what we the epi point epi of the side of understanding the source of why we pray. Rav Yosi, Rav Yochanan, Amar Tefilas Avos Tiknum. Rav Yosi, the son of Chanina, says Tefilas Avos Tiknum. Tefilas were instituted by the Avos Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov. Rishum Levi Amar Tefilas Kenegat Tamidim Tiknum. The reason why they were instituted by the rabbis was uh, opposite, not opposite the Avos, but opposite the Kenegat, uh, the carbon tumid that's brought every day. So Tanya comes to Rishum Chanina. We have a price that supports Rishum Chanina. Tanya comes to Rishum Levi and a price that that's going to support Rishim Levi. Tanya gives it to Rishim Chanina because Avram took in Tefillah Shachris. It says in the Brisa, Avram instituted the Tefillah of Shachris. And Avram woke up Avram woke up early in the morning and he stood in the place uh, to the place that he stood there. And standing, Vein Amida El Tefillah. Standing is always a reference to Tefillah. And how do we know that Shnei Amar Vayamid Pinchas Vayifal Pinchas stood and prayed. So standing is a reference to Tefillah and Vayashkim Avram Avoker means in the morning. So we have the Tefillah of Shachris. Yitzchak chicken tefillah mincha. Yitzchak instituted mincha. Shnei Yitzchak Yitzchak lesuach basada. Lifnei Zarev. Yitzchak went out to talk in the field uh, before the evening. Okay, which is a reference to the mincha time. Vein sicha el tefillah shenemar tefillah la ani ki atov lefnei Hashem yishpoch sicha. The tefillah for the ani as he wraps himself before Hashem, he pours out his sicha. Okay, he's talking, and that's a reference to prayer. Yaakov tikkun tefillah arvish and emar vayivka vamalkam yelon shem. He got stopped there, and he uh, he stopped in that place, and he, w- he went to sleep there. Before he went to sleep, in pigia. Okay, pigia is tefillah shenemar atem, and you out the spa ba'adam azeh v'altisa ba'adam rina v'tefillah v'atifka be. Don't uh, like stop me. Don't uh, don't occur to me that I should uh, in tefillah. Okay, the Tanya can say to Rabbi Shmuel Levi, we have a brayse that supports Rabbi Shmuel Levi that says, "Mipnei Ma'am Rutfil Sashachar Achatzos." Why do we say that Tefil Sashachar the morning is until midday? Sharei Tamid Shal Shachar Karva Halakha Achatzos. So we see that's connected the Shachars. Rabbi Huda Amir on Aber Shos Sharei he says the Tamid Shal Shachar is Karva Halakha Aber Shos. Mipnei Ma'am Rutfil Samincha on Erev. Why is Mincha until the evening? Sharei Tamid Shal Ben Rabbim Karva Halakha Erev until the evening. Rabbi Huda Amir Plaga Mincha until half a Mincha. Sharei Tamid Shal Ben Rabbim Karva Halakha Plaga Mincha. Okay, like it has no set time. We can do it the whole night. the fats and the limbs. that weren't uh, consumed by the evening. Crave mahalchim that can be burned the whole night. that most of the whole day. carbon was brought the whole day. And Rehuda says and what is considered mincha gedola? shows Now that is six and a half hours again. And these are these these uh, they're not the literally hours hours but halakim the, the parts of the day twelve parts of the day uh, six and a half parts into the day uh, and on okay so uh, uh, from a six to six day it would be twelve thirty until the evening till six okay. That's mincha gedola. It's the start of the large mincha in the afternoon, uh, and uh, and if it is mincha gedola, and what, that's b'shesh shows from mechsel v'mala. If it is mincha katana, what's the small mincha? That's b'tisha shows from mechsel v'mala. From nine and a half hours into the day, which again twelve to twelve day would be uh, three thirty v'mala until six. It's a smaller window. So Yibayilu, the Gemara wants to know. Rabbi Yehuda plag mincha ka'amar. When Rabbi Yehuda says that one could dive until half of mincha, is he saying plag mincha kama ka'amar? From the uh, the first plag, the first mincha, I plag mincha achrena kamar, which means that if there's two minchas, there's two uh, min, there's a mincha gedola, which is from again just for the sake of simplicity, from 12:30 until six, right? That five and a half hour window is called mincha gedola, and then there's the mincha katana, which is from three and a half hours, which is 3:30 until six. And he says half of mincha that one can can uh, can uh, the the Rebbe says uh, uh, that one could have a mincha ad ad plag ha mincha. Now half a mincha. Does that mean from 12:30 to 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 six? Okay, so half of that would be uh, at 3:15, right? I think 3:15. Or does he mean from 3:30 to six and half of that in between?
Yeah, which would be uh, what we'll see in a minute. So the Mar says he buy lehu. Rabbi Huda, plag mincha kamar 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 kamar, plag mincha chreina kamar. So the Mar says tashma come in here. The Tanya we have a brayer that says Rabbi Huda Omer plag mincha chreina kamar. He says you have until half a mincha until the chreina. Vehi yud aleph shalos chas revi. That's eleven hours minus a quarter, which is ten hours and forty five minutes into the day. Okay, so the Gemara says, This is all a uh, a question of Yosef Rukhani. Yosef Hanina said that it was connected to the Avas, and here we see clearly the Braisa that says that it was connected to different Tamidim. So the Gemara says, Really, I agree that it was connected to uh, the Avas. It was Avas Kenyan, that were the original uh, institutors of the uh, people who instituted the concept of Tfila, Shachar, Min Chamarif, made a juxtaposition they 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 found uh, also opposite the carbonus and they put it there as well so it says he says and I could prove it if you don't say that if I don't say that feels Musaf is man meaning who instituted feels Musaf because Musaf is the is the prayer that we say on Yom Tovim Right, we say it on, on Rosh Chodesh and and, Sha- and Shabbos and Yom Tovim, and there's no fourth of, there's no f- fourth uh, one of the of us, only Avram Yisak and Yaakov. So which one is not connected? El Tvil's of us tikkun must have been that it was uh, instituted the concept by the of us. For some chinur rabbanon karbanos, the rabbanon sort of made this juxtaposition uh, in regard to the karbanos, and that's how we're gonna s- they they came up with the the tamid of uh, Musaf. Okay, so that's uh, where we'll take it from here tomorrow.